Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have a short tutorial for you guys because just a couple weeks ago somebody left a comment on one of my videos asking me to demonstrate how I slowed down my fancy living Spongebob edit. Now I was a little bit confused when I first initially read the comment because I didn't know if the person meant how I slowed down the audio or the clips. But because both processes are super super simple and easy, I'm going to cover them both in this video. So for those of you who are trying to learn how to slow down clips and audio in After Effects in 2021, I got you. You do need Twixter though, however, for the slow motion. I will say that right now, you are going to need Twixter in order to do what I'm about to show you. So in order to do that, just look up a tutorial on YouTube on how to get Twixter and insert it into your After Effects and then come back to this video and then you'll be able to do what it is I'm about to show you. But if you already have Twixter, I'm about to show you my settings and stuff and I'm gonna show you how to slow down the audio and all of that. So I hope that this video helps you. I hope you enjoy it. And so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, for the sake of time and simplicity, we're gonna start with the audio. I'm gonna show you guys how to slow down audio in After Effects. So if you take any audio layer, this is gonna work for any type of audio layer, all right? So it's super, super simple. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the audio layer itself, right click it, go to time right here, and you click on it, and then you head over to enable time remapping. This is gonna put two keyframes onto your audio layer, and this end one over here is the one that you want to focus on this one over here so all you got to do is drag this however far you want so when you drag this it's slowing down the audio i'll demonstrate so this is the audio itself without us tampering with it yet it's nice and slow right so then you take this keyframe right here and then you drag it further as far as you want it to go it doesn't matter and it will slow down the audio like that so if you didn't know how to slow down the audio, now you know. It's just right click, go to time, enable time remapping right there. And there's a keyboard shortcut right here, control alt T. And then you can enable time remapping and then you drag this and it'll make it however slow or fast or fast. You can speed it up if you want, you can speed it up too. But that's how you manipulate time on an audio layer and after effects slowing it down or speeding it up super simple super easy don't got to worry about it that one's super easy we're going to move on to the twixter slow motion because that is also easy but it takes a little bit more um to learn so i'm about to show you guys that too so for me and my edits and how i like to do things and my style and stuff i will give my twixter a a gateway like a little leeway room a little wiggle room for it to flow with, with the beat it doesn't if you add the twixter at the beginning of the clip it's going to be too slow you don't want that so you want to give it some time to gradually go into slow motion you want that that quick jump i think is what draws the clip in and works it into the edit so what i do is i go forward a little bit and i try to match the movement so he's moving his arms he's swinging his arms if you're if you're making an edit with a certain transition you kind of want the movement to go along with the twixter so if he's swinging his arms forward i'm gonna go about to where his arms are up like this and then i'm gonna go over here to my twixter i'm gonna click on the speed that's gonna add a keyframe i press u so i press and you can see the twixter keyframe right here and then what i do is i'll go over to preview and i'll go forward about two frames and then i'll put it to about 39 and the reason why i choose the number 39 is because over the years of editing that's just what i've found to be the best type of settings for animated videos and video games when i used to edit those 39 29 those i felt flow with my transitions it's just something that i picked up along the way of all the years of editing but i i put it to about 29 or 39 depending on how slow i want it to be i think that's a good range so now he's kind of he's kind of swaying for the rest of the clip this is fine he it, it goes into the motion it's all you see that it's a quick jump it's a quick jump that's what i that's what i use in order to pair the clip itself with my transition so it's a quick jump and then we head into slow motion. That's how I do slow-mo on my clips. And it just depends on the clip itself. Twixter can work in various different ways. In the videos where it's super colorful and all of that stuff. And I think somebody wanted me to do a tutorial on that as well. And I will do a full-blown tutorial on my colorizing later on. But I think that this is pretty basic. It's pretty easy to do. 
um so just remember that give it some time give your give your clip a little breathing room because it's very necessary in flow of clips and then just keyframe your speeds that you want you can make it faster or slower i've speeded up clips and i have slowed down clips it just doesn't matter whichever way you want to go you can do it so it's just speed right here these are the only keyframes that i use the motion blur and the speed i've never touched smart blend or frame interpreter or nothing like that so this is how i slow my clips down that's how i slow my audio down okay so i hope you guys found this video helpful i didn't want it to be super long it's pretty simple how to do both things if you guys have any requests or anything that you would like to see let me know and i'll make a tutorial um just say it down in the comments and i'll get on that like i said I, i'll have like a colorizing tutorial coming soon somebody wanted to know how i did my color correction and stuff like that so i'll do a tutorial on that um, a lot more good videos on the way and edits and stuff. You guys are blowing it up right now. I appreciate all the support. So thank you, everybody. We're hitting 1K very, very soon. And from that point on, we're going to skyrocket. So I'm excited. I hope everybody else is excited. And I will see you in the next video that I make. Thanks for watching.